So the first stop on our journey through the evolution of drumming and the drum set is 1865. Now why this particular date, 1865? Well, first of all, for those of you who know your history, 1865 was the year that the American Civil War ended. And that meant that African slaves and their descendants were free and could start to participate much more in American society and contribute more to American music. And as we see as we go through this whole series, uh, African Americans have contributed a tremendous amount to the drum set and to the way that we play it. So what else was happening in 1865? Well, for the first time, drummers were starting to experiment with putting together more than one instrument. In other words, prior to this time, you had like marching band type of a scenario, or maybe classical music. And in those instances, a drummer would maybe play a bass drum, or they'd play a snare drum, or they'd play cymbals. Well, around this time period, you had drummers in theaters and stage shows and, and, and vaudeville type scenarios. So drummers started thinking, well, how, you know, how can we have one guy do the job of many? And so this is a very interesting um, time period, and that's why we're beginning here. So what was the most popular kind of music that was happening in America in 1865? Well, as we said earlier, it was actually marching band music because there was no jazz, there was no rock, you know, there was no blues to speak of. This was before all that time. So uh, you had marching bands and uh, the feel, marching feel involved rudiments, it involved bass drum, kind of on one and three, right? Boom, chick, boom, chick, one, two, three, four. So you had kind of this boom, chick, boom, chick thing going on. So the drummers that were taking this idea of playing more than one instrument at once, were taking this concept of, of, of marching and started playing a bass drum and a snare drum together at the same time, but without a pedal. And they developed a really interesting technique called double drumming. You'll notice that the style that I used in playing that little demonstration had what we call a two feel, where the bass drum comes on beats one and three. One, two, three, four, boom, chick, boom, chick, boom. So it's very downbeat heavy, and you know, it's music that's designed to help large groups of soldiers march down a field from one end to the other. So it's very simple and straightforward. And as we move more towards the next segment we're going to get into, which is ragtime music, this kind of basic march idea starts to become syncopated. It starts to swing a little more, starts to dance a little more, and starts to move more towards dance music. Uh, who can tell me what made a drum set a drum set? The low boy. Kick pedal. Match grip. The sock symbol. My name is Daniel Glass. I'm a drummer, author, and educator. In 1994, I joined a band called Royal Crown Review. We were trying to figure out how to take the rebellious spirit of modern styles like punk and put it into big band and other roots music. We found out it was already there. I've been absorbed in this world ever since. I started researching the evolution of the drum set and the way that we play it. In the last dozen years, I've interviewed more than 60 different legendary drummers. I came to a startling conclusion. Perhaps more than any other instrument, the drum set is equipped to tell the story of America and American music. All of these immigrants coming from around the world brought their technology. music and pop music were one and the same. You could dance to it. 